My name is Erica Eiderhoven. I serve as your state representative for the 27th Middlesex District, and it has truly been an honor of a lifetime to serve our great city of Somerville in the House of Representatives on Beacon Hill. When I first ran to be your state representative two years ago, I promised to make the State House work for you. This meant fighting for transparency and accountability so that together we could transform the State House to pass progressive policies and to build a Commonwealth in which every one of us lives with dignity and respect. I am proud to share with you all that I have delivered on this commitment. At the very beginning of my term, we successfully increased transparency in the House rules for the very first time in over 17 years. These changes ensure that a majority of committee votes are available online. Transparency and accountability is not only about public access to information on what we do, it is about your agency and your voice in the legislature. I am indebted to the thousands of voters like you who organized and mobilized across the state to demand a legislature that passes policies centered on our progressive values. Both through these rule reforms and ongoing momentum for this robust statewide organizing infrastructure, together we created a deep shift in the legislature and made material differences in so many of our neighbors' lives through passing progressive legislation that prior to this session remained stagnant for years, if not decades. This includes policies on immigrant justice, climate change, public education, and reproductive justice. On immigrant justice, despite Massachusetts passing no laws to protect immigrants during all four years of Trump's presidency and 20 years of stagnation in which 16 other states surpassed Massachusetts, it was in this session we finally passed the Work and Family Mobility Act, ensuring our immigrant neighbors have access to driver's licenses. On climate change, we saw no progress for over 12 years since the Global Warming Solutions Act until this session. We passed not just one, but two pieces of legislation to invest in renewable energy and transform Massachusetts into a green economy so we can play a leading role in stopping the climate crisis. On public education, for decades, we underfunded school districts that serve our most low-income and in-need students. Then, for two budget cycles after passing the Student Opportunity Act, during the COVID-19 pandemic when our schools desperately needed funding, the legislature underfunded our schools. However, this year, not only have we finally funded our K-12 schools, the Special Education Circuit Breaker, and Charter Reimbursement, we also launched crucial initiatives to fund early education and child care, an important step towards universal pre-K. And on reproductive justice, a mere four days after Roe v. Wade was struck down, the House passed fundamental protections for healthcare providers and patients to ensure our right to choose is codified in Massachusetts law. Such clear and swift leadership is all too rare in government, and yet we in the House moved quickly to respond to the needs of our constituents in this dark time in our nation's history. Core to my work and all of our work in democracy is that we must work together because nothing is accomplished in the State House alone. I am proud to work as a team with my Somerville legislative delegation, city elected officials, and community organizations. As just one example, together we have fought for environmental justice in East Somerville and made material improvements for resident, pedestrian, and bike safety. Whether it be safer streets, the Green Line extension, or fighting for investments to make the Mystic River more resilient to flooding and the climate crisis, or passing affordable housing policies or supporting our foster care system, we always work as a team and build regional alliances with shared values so that when we come together in one strong voice on behalf of our communities. It is not only the right thing to do, but the strategic way we make material change for our constituents' lives. While I'm thrilled about our wins this session, we have much more work ahead of us. We must raise progressive revenue through the fair share amendment and legislation so that the very wealthy and corporations pay their fair share to fund the T, invest in our schools, roads, sewers, and affordable housing, and retrofit all of our homes and buildings to have net zero carbon emissions. It goes without saying that we are living in unprecedented times and that this is a moment of reckoning for our country, our Commonwealth, and for all of us.
I have been at the forefront of fighting for progressive issues in our state house and our city for many years, and I'm committed to channeling the spirit and dedication of our community to fight tirelessly for all of us to live with dignity and respect. To that end, I humbly ask for your vote in the Democratic primary on Tuesday, September 6th. Thank you.